Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trail Makers. And today I'm gonna attempt to make a cannonball. That's right, this tank cannon right here. I'm gonna surround the seat by these things, and I don't really know where this is going, but the idea popped in my head and I just had to do it right now. So I figured let's build it first and then we'll just see what kind of shenanigans happens when we try to use it and what it inspires for maybe different ways to use it. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with this thing. All right, so I'm just going to start building and hope for the best. So uh, let's see what this ends up turning into. I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cannonball. This actually turned out way better than I even expected. Like it's even it's 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 so stable right now. Oh man, it's it's working great. Okay, so here is how it works. Uh, so far, there's something that I want to add into it, but I'm not sure how it's gonna work yet without blowing myself up completely. As you can probably tell, it's got some gimbal jets, and I can just press the shift key to uh, activate the gimbal jets and pull myself up a little bit and prevent myself from falling back to the ground. And then underneath, you can see I have the classic uh, servo for turning myself back and forth. But then to go forward, when I press W, the back five cannons all fire at the same time, creating a forward force. And then I can also do the reverse by pressing S and going backwards. So all of that just allows me to move pretty much wherever I want. And then I have the added bonus, if I press space, every single cannon on this thing fires like so. And it's basically like a firework. This thing looks like a flying, like, deep sea proximity mine. Oh, this looks awesome. Oh, 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 okay, okay, don't get too close to things. I, I can't tell which way is forward. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, now we're going forward. All right, I'm gonna let myself drop. Let's see what kind of damage we do just falling out of the sky. Actually, the, uh, the tail fins that I put in here help out a lot. They make me fall a lot slower, and the reason I put them in was because you see the rocking that I'm doing? When I was trying to move forward and just stay in a steady trajectory, I was rocking all over the place, and those tail fins now stabilize me out a lot, so those are really, really good. You know what? I could actually probably put some on the top and bottom, too. That might be worth it. All right, there we go. I put some ones on the top and the bottom that they not only do they give me a visual kind of indicator of which direction forward actually is, but they should also prevent like side to side tipping just a little bit. 
Okay, so now what I want to do is make this thing a little bit more automatic because right now I keep having to try to adjust my height constantly. And what I want to do is have a sensor make it so that I'm going to try to stay at a default above the ground. And then if I want to go up further, I want that to be cannon powered as well. The problem is I can't use cannon power to lift off the ground because I will shoot the ground, thus exploding myself. So let's see if I can figure this out. So it's really disorienting considering this is how the thing looks in build mode. So it's so it's not super easy to immediately see what parts are actually going to be pointing in what direction. But this part right here should be pointing at the ground. If I put the sensor facing in that direction, let's go ahead and put it at like 30 meters. I actually don't know how far 30 meters is to the scale of this world. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these top two gimbals be always on. And then these side gimbals here are going to be triggered at any height lower than 30 meters from the ground that it's detecting. So let's see if this actually works. Oh, no, I got to get into it. Okay. All right, let's see. Where's that sensor? There's the sensor. I'm not pressing anything. It's just going up on its own. All right, there's 30 meters. And then we start to fall. And yeah, here we go. Now we are hovering automatically around 30 meters without me having to press anything. So now let's see if I go forward. Everything seems to be working pretty fine. Go backwards. All right, excellent. So now I can program the bottom set of, of uh, cannons, rather, to trigger when I want to go up. Okay, here we go. New controls are inputted. So when I press number one, I should go up to 30 meters automatically. Okay, now let's say I want to go higher than where I am right now. I don't know if this is going to work yet, but if I press shift, I should push myself upwards. Oh, you know what? I don't think... Hmm. All right, you know what? That may not have worked as intended because it's too heavy for the cannons to actually counteract, but I'm going to say that's just our bomber mode. When we fly over something like this, I could just press uh, shift and we could just bomb down below us. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but when I press control, all the top ones should fire, and that was kind of my, my, my way of saying go down. But let's see. Oh, that actually does work. Look at that. All right, that is kind of nice. All right, and then if I want to go up more. Ah, this can make us go up faster, so we do have that. All right, so now I have complete control of a cannonball. You know what I think is left to do? I mean, this thing is literally a ball made of cannons full of destructive projectile power. We have to destroy some things with it. But first, considering this thing is called a cannonball, let's paint it black like a cannonball. Ah, yes, there we go. All right, what shall we destroy with this thing? How about a giant skull? That's right, we are gonna destroy a giant skull. I don't even remember when I built that. I built that a long time ago. All right, so I don't know if this is gonna work, but instead of just doing the bomber mode, I'm actually gonna press space to fire all cannons because I just think that's more fun. And go! And we missed. We missed. And, oh, there we are. And it's gone. It is completely gone. You know what? I think we're going to have to uh, spawn in a handful of creations so we have a whole field of stuff to work with. I just want to look at how far of a reach we have with those upper cannons. It reached all the way over near that ramp over there. Look at that. Oh, you know what we can do? Here, let's go into free cam mode and then I'll fly this thing away as I back up my camera and then we can actually watch what this thing looks like from a distance. There we go. And then we press space. Oh, it looks great. It looks just like a firework. That is awesome. Oh, we actually almost hit ourselves. All right. And let me see if I can navigate my way back over here. Oh, it is it is hard to do the turning when I can't see what's going on, really. Uh-oh, oh, turn, turn, turn. I don't know where I am. Oh, 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 this is bad. <laughs> what? The cannons, the cannon projectiles actually count if you get them into the hoops. I had no idea. That is awesome. All right, I am definitely uh, saving this and let's spawn in a bunch of other stuff and have some fun. All right, I'm gonna spawn in this weird car here that I made specifically to go off of ramps. I'm gonna spawn this car here that I think was the car that's afraid of everything, but I modified it to stop being afraid of everything. We're gonna spawn in a boat because why not? I don't even remember building that to be honest. We're gonna spawn in the helicopter that has been merged with 
a car. And then why not spawn in a DeLorean? We're getting to some old school creations here from way back. What happened to my boat? The ground is not water. You can't do this. What if I get inside? Uh, all right. All right and then we're going to spawn in Mr. Shark right here. Okay, so we got six creations just hanging out on the ground here. Let's get our cannonball up in the air and see what kind of damage our cannonball can do. Cannonballs are known for doing a lot of damage to things, but not quite like this. So for this, I think I actually want to do free cam and I want to watch the destruction from a distance. I think it'll be easier to see things get destroyed as this cannonball slowly moves over and rains down destruction. All right, here we go. Oh, that's the wrong direction. Oh, I got to turn around. Oh, we already destroyed one thing. All right, uh, wait, why? I can't figure out how to go forward. Okay, I'm going towards me now. There we go. Here we go. There we go. All right, and now that we're going in this direction, I'm gonna start firing all of the cannons. We destroyed two things. Oh, three things. We're kind of damaging other things. All right, let's see if we can turn around. Oh, look at the, the shark. It went flying up into the air. All right, where am I going? Am I heading back this way? I am now heading back this way. All right, and here we go. Oh, helicopter car is gone, kind of. Anxiety car is completely gone. All right, let's head back over. Uh, where is my forward direction? There we go. Forward is in this direction. All right, and come on. Come on. Look at this. I don't know how to, like, intentionally hit things. This is kind of like a whole spray and pray situation. Shark just got launched into the air again. All right, and wish me luck. Here we go. Oh, shark is gone. All that's left is the helicopter car. Oh, I just hit myself. Are you kidding me? What are the chances of what just happened? <laughs> I don't think I could do that again if I even tried. All right, here, so I've rebuilt. Now let's do it from the perspective of the cannonball. I think I'll have more control like this. So if I just go straight over and then press shift, there we go. Now it's like an actual bomber where you can look down and bomb where you want to. All right, this thing actually turned out way more successful than I expected it to be. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and if you have any other crazy ideas like this that you'd like to see in Trail Makers. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, then you're definitely going to want to check out this playlist right here and watch as many videos as you possibly can in it. Don't forget to check the links down in the description below if you want some merch or other ways to support the channel. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.